concentration, intelligence and the ability to think strategically, just some of the qualities needed to be successful in the world of mind sports. More than 1,500 participants are expected to play in the World Championships in Doha. So obviously knowing what the words mean. Although the games are aimed at exercising the brain rather than the body, some believe playing them is just as grueling as regular sports. You are, you are competing with, you know, with your peers. You need to have that element of, um, of how you're able to, how do you able to compete and how do you able to kind of keep yourself fit, keep your mind fit, keep your body fit when you play eight, ten games a day, essentially, because it's just mentally exhausting. It's just like, it's just like, just like how runners get tired when they run. Same thing as well when you play Scrabble, you actually get mentally exhausted from running as well. It's the same thing. Other events at the championships, such as chess and bridge, enjoy recognition as sports by the International Olympic Committee. But it's the introduction of competitive video gaming, also known as eSports, that could really boost the profile and reach of mind sports. The industry is expected to be worth $1.5 billion by 2020, and eSports are featuring at the World Championships for the very first time in Doha. Video gaming has become a huge spectator sport with some events getting millions of viewers online. Here they're playing FIFA 17, one of the world's most popular soccer titles. It means that the world of my sports is not just connecting with the world of gaming, but also with the world's most popular sport, football. The championships are open to all ages and organisers feel mind sports can have a positive impact on the development of young people. Cognitive gaming to me is one of the most important unspoken issues in our time. The introduction of um, the internet over in our lifetime and certainly mobile phones has heightened the need for us to look at this within the classroom and make sure that we look at education in a different way. The organiser thinks players of one of the mind sports, such as chess, can be at an Olympic Games within the next two decades. Convincing regular sports fans they belong there, however, may take a little while longer. Sohail Malik, Al Jazeera, Doha.